1959, Sir Winston Churchill, founder of Churchill College, said when he visited the site, we must depend on our brains for survival. He believed we needed more trained scientists and technologists if the UK was to remain as a world leader and that we needed to develop leaders in all subjects. Those educational goals remain as true now as then. We continue to have a strong emphasis on science and technology subjects. We are doing more to attract young women to study these subjects and to reach out to students from non-traditional backgrounds, both from within the UK and from around the world. We are very proud of our links with China and we always have exceptional students studying here at both graduate and undergraduate level from China. And that is why we are so proud of all that Jai Chan Fu has achieved since she left the college in 2007, building, I hope, on the foundations which we were able to give her. We are honoured that Jai Chan Fu has made this donation to the college and the creation of a very special garden where students can study and reflect. I would like to express my congratulations and uh, my um, admiration uh, for both uh, Ms. Shao Tian Fu uh, and the Churchill College of Cambridge uh, for the wonderful news, naming the garden after Ms. Shao Tian Fu and also uh, on her side of uh, giving such a gift uh, to the young people, the young students uh, of uh, Churchill College. I think it's uh, probably the first time that uh, an alumni uh, is giving back uh, so quickly. It's very good news also for us, uh, for UNESCO, where we do consider the higher education and the excellence of higher education, particularly for girls in, uh, in STEM, in uh, sciences, mathematics, engineering. Uh, we would like to encourage uh, this uh, all over the world. And I think this is also a recognition for uh, what uh, uh, Ms. Shao Tian Fu is doing, a meeting uh, through her uh, program, uh, Talk with World Leaders, uh, to encourage uh, international cooperation, to encourage uh, young people to be more engaged, uh, to participate in the life of their communities, of their countries, to achieve uh, excellence uh, in higher education. Uh, I think this is what we need uh, nowadays uh, in a world that is globalized, uh, that is uh, full of challenges, but of course a lot of opportunities. And we have to use these opportunities for young people uh, to make them part of the answer uh, to these uh, pressing needs that we have nowadays. When people ask me what are the key elements of a political journalist, I said, stay curious, critical and humble. And I knew it was in Churchill College, Cambridge. I was trained to be more like this. As democracy extends around the world in a more profound way than ever before, knowledge is once again proven power and a key to peaceful progress. I was lucky enough to have had time to study, to dedicate myself to knowledge. And this enabled me to better understand differences. And I simply wish the same possibilities for more young students. To give back is a part of human nature, I reckon, an aspect that you've forgotten will inevitably lead to inequality. And that is why I'm giving back through philanthropy and volunteerism to help create more opportunities for young students. I owe what I achieve, not much but all, to education and all the help I was once given.